Okay, guys, so we are from 27 patched into our channel mic inputs number three. Now, on the board, you want to go into our record mode. Okay, and you see how we have fader reverse enabled? You want to leave that enabled. And I'll explain that to you in a little minute. Okay. Channel three. We are going to hit our 48. If you can see that right there on channel three, it is 48. And we're going to be testing for signal. Now that you guys have your phantom power on, this is where we have the fader reverse enabled, all right? Because this is going to make things a lot easier for you. With the fader reverse enabled, this is now your input path. And this down here are your monitor path. With the fader reverse disabled, then this becomes your monitor path and this becomes your input path, all right? But just because the way things are set up, it's going to be a lot easier for you for this to be the input and this is going to be your output. So, fader reverse is enabled. Remember, we are on channel three. And there are multiple ways to get from our channel three on the SSL to Pro Tools. We can either use our routing matrix or you can go directly into Pro Tools, right? One to 24, they are normalized to Pro Tools. Basically meaning... When you direct it directly to Pro Tools, it is going to go from the physical channel three in Pro uh, on the SSL to your channel three on Pro Tools. But if you guys are using the routing matrix, now this is where it gets a little bit tricky and only for learning purposes, I suggest you guys go a little haywire just so you can understand signal flow. Like when I was a student here, what I would like to do is Let's say, for instance, we are on channel three physically, right? What does that say? 15, 16, 10? 10. 10. All right, so that says 10. So physically, my signal for the mic is stopped here on channel three. The routing matrix is designating this to my input channel 10 on Pro Tools, okay? I would just make it as difficult as I can just so I can understand the signal flow a little bit better. But again, the same thing with the routing matrix, I can send it to three. Or I can send it to four. I can send it to 28. Whatever this is labeled here on this routing matrix, you just need to make sure your input on Pro Tools matches. But for this video, we're gonna make it a lot easier for you guys. So I have it on three. Channel three to input three on Pro Tools. Now follow me. <laughs> 